Hi YouTube, it's Lena. I am here today with the 50 Shades of Green project pan. And it feels great to finally be able to say 50 Shades of Green. Because I have almost said it in like the last three updates of the last project of 50 Shades of Purple. Because if you join the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group who I'm doing this in conjunction with, we voted on this like six months ago. <laughs> like we voted on this super early. Okay, maybe not six months ago, but definitely like just on the cusp of 2021 and 2022. So, yeah. We've known about this color for a while. And I really do like green. Like, I probably could have filled this with just green eyeshadows. I have so many. That would have made me go insane. <laughs> I actually only have... I want to say four eyeshadows in here. One of them is a loose pigment that I have a usage goal on, but uh, I kind of had to learn my lesson from last time. Oh, five if you count the cream eyeshadow, I guess. Maybe I didn't learn my lesson because I didn't finish very many of the shadows. I think I only finished one. I came close on another one, but hopefully this time I do better. And hopefully, unlike last time, I don't get sick of the color because I got so freaking sick of wearing purple eyeshadow. Not even funny. Now I didn't stick another eyeshadow palette in here to hit a goal of usages on so that lesson I did learn. Like the, the eyeshadows I do have there is no like all of those plus a bonus palette I want to hit so many uses on. I guess I, 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 guess I did learn something. All right so the idea is 50 products they all just need to be green in some way, and that can include the outer, like, box packaging, the product on the inside, not necessarily packaging on the outside, or just the packaging on the outside and not the product on the inside. It can be a little bit of green or a lot of green, and it can be, what am I trying to think of? It can be scented with something that's green, like it can be cucumber scented, it can be aloe scented, it could have a lot of, it could be an aloe based product. What the hell else is green? Mint, it could be mint scented. <laughs> All right, my mind went blank today. I am filming this at 11.30 at night. And while I am normally very much a night person, I have been exhausted all day today. I don't have a particularly good reason why other than the fact that I am a person who sometimes just wakes up exhausted and it doesn't go away. <laughs> oh, it's the nature of life. We get older, we get issues, and sometimes they kill our energy. So I was trying to initially go 25 non-makeup, 25 makeup. I didn't quite hit that number. I got, including the one nail polish I put in here, because I learned from that mistake too. No more than one nail polish in any project. <laughs> I got 22 makeup. And I did kind of bounce that back and forth as initially I only had like 20 makeup with the nail polish, but I did find a couple of more things. Because like I said, I didn't just want to load this up with a bunch of eyeshadows. <laughs> And I didn't want to load this up with a bunch of primers because I have a lot of redness in my face. So green primers is something I do own a lot of, like actually green color correcting primers. Plus just, I have a lot of green primers in general, apparently. And I didn't want to just load this up with primers and eyeshadows. And I could have just done this all in like skincare and body care too. <laughs> so I was looking through my stuff like green was not a hard color to find in my collection. It was really a matter of being a little bit more selective with some of my stuff now. I can go through makeup at a pretty decent clip as long as I wear it. I don't have the energy some days. Skincare I can tear through no problem. <laughs> so I didn't want to do too much skincare and stuff like that because then this would be done in like six months. So here we are. Let's get started. Like I said, first is the nail polish. This is another Julep nail polish. There is so little product in them for being a full size that as long as you use them, they are pretty easy to go through. This is in Brandis. I've used it once when I got it a million years ago. I got this back when they had the subscription box. Let me put it that way. They don't, they haven't had that for years. They don't even do nail polishes anymore. I got a lot of the damn nail polishes and they're all old as you can see by this slight shift in colors in here. Now you swirl it around and then you pull it out. That is what the color actually looks like. It's a very pretty color. It's a very pretty green. Green is actually one of my favorite colors. I, I have a couple, but green is one of them. 
I have a foundation because there is a little bit of green on this packaging. <laughs> it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. This is the oil-free matte version. Uh, I had to weigh this because this is a pump. So it doesn't, like I can't like knock the air out of it. It is 56.6 grams. Now, once I get started on using this, this will suck in and I can actually like make visible markings on it. But for now, I cannot. Mine is in the shade Fair, and quite frankly, I think even this might be a little dark for me. So, we will use that to the best of our abilities, even if we have to mix it with something else. It'll be fine. Next is one of the three setting sprays, and I have setting sprays and I have facial sprays and skincare. So, because I apparently really got, really freaking got into those last year, and now I have a crap ton. The first one is the... Shop Miss A AOA Oil Control Primer Spray. Now, the, I kept this in the box because I wanted to be able to actually read what is in here and what all it does. It is long lasting, a fresh scent, lightweight, paraben free, absorbs oil and minimizes pores. It contains green tea, squalene, five extracts of apple, apricot, spearmint, peppermint, and cucumber. So it is definitely green scented as well. Now the packaging itself is also green, but like I said, I just wanted to be able to read what was in there. It is completely full. There is only two and a half ounces in here. That said, I will probably not get to this until I can also use the setting spray. This is a primer spray. I, it's a pre-makeup thing to help absorb oil. So now the setting spray is not green, so it is not in this project, but once I do get to that, it will be in a different project so I can use them together. I mean, I could totally use them without a project as well, but I have a couple of setting sprays to use up before that one, which is why it has to wait. Next, I think this is a makeup spray. I keep getting told different things. We're gonna find out, but I'm gonna count it as makeup either way, because when I bought it, I counted it as makeup. This is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. It is all the way up to the top. I've only used this like twice. Neither time was with makeup. It was just because I was hot and I knew this was nearby. There is that. And I have this Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last setting spray. This is the Kiwi Watermelon version. It is completely new. The sticker is still on it. I haven't even bothered to take that off yet. So, completely full. We can get to it when we get to it. Next are the primers. <laughs> there are a lot. And I could have put more. First is this one. Now, fortunately, I can't see through this at all, and I can't get any air out of it, so I ended up weighing it. This is the Tarte C Glotion Skin Perfector. It's just a glowy primer. I got this in my last Boxy Charm Premium. It is 40 milliliters or 1.35 ounces. It's actually bigger than a full ounce, and its current like total weight is 53.5 grams. I have never used this. I have no idea if I like it or not. And if I don't, I will figure out another way to use it. Possibly just throw that sucker in some lotion. Because it is also tinted. Because of course it is. Like it is dark tinted too. It does seem to blend in, which thank goodness for that, because I was concerned. Next is this that I got from my friend Hannah a couple of years ago, so I definitely need to use it up. It is the Miraness Absolutely Smooth Treatment Primer. I have no idea if this is a full size or not. I will have to check that. This has never been used, but like half the time with these, you know, smaller samples especially, it is only like half full. So this is a mattifying primer. It mattifies the hell out of my skin at least. So once I get to it, it'll be quick to use up. And I have a couple of mini primers to use up before I get to any in here. So I will not be touching any of these for like the first month or two. Next is one of, the, one of the correcting primers that I have. It is the LA Colors Smoothing Face Primer in green. It is basically full. I've never really fooled with that. And I think this is the last primer. Yeah, it looks like I stopped myself at four. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love this. So that is where it is. I've never used this. So I don't know why it doesn't, it's like missing some. I used up a little mini of it last year. This is actually like the half size that they sell. So it's 10 milliliters, but I will really enjoy that once I do get to it. Next is actually a cheek product. 
This is the Pixi Sheer Cheek Gel. I'm actually surprised I don't have more Pixi products in here, but uh, all my Pixi products, like skincare, are brand new. Uh, this is actually fairly old. This was sent to me by a friend, and, I would, and it is really nice, so I would like to use it up. It is in the shade Flushed. It is nowhere near this dark. So you can see where my mark is. I was using this for a little bit to make sure, yes, that I did like it, but then I rolled something else into a different project pan that ends earlier, so I put that down. Next is actually a lip balm. I'm not going to roll this up because it well, these type of lip balms don't like to always roll up and down, but I do have it measured out on a piece of paper. It is the Be Essential, like B-E-E, -E, Lime and Coconut Beeswax Lip Balm. This is a fairly hard lip balm, like it's still wonderfully moisturizing and everything. Don't take that the wrong way, but it's not a very squishy one. So this one, once I get to it, will probably take a while, which, I mean, it's fine. I've already used up a lot of, like, many lip balms this year. And I have a lip gloss. I won't be surprised if I see this pop up in a lot of people's because, well, anything from this Elf Mint collection would work wonderfully in this project. It is the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. I've used this like once. Now it only has like 2.5 mils in it, so I figured this would be a fairly easy thing to use up once I get to it. Got a couple of glosses to use up ahead of that one. Next, I have two lipsticks because I hate myself. I'm totally not panning enough of these this year, and these are full sizes. Now these are the ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard lipsticks. I actually have four of them. I bought the set. I gave two of them away because they weren't really my colors. Now one of these I only want to use it 10 times and you'll see why in a second. It is green. And I do like it. It's a beautiful shade if you're into, you know, wearing a green lipstick, which I can be on occasion. It is called Brucey. I just want to wear this 10 times. Just have some fun with it. The other one I want to try and finish. We'll see what happens with that. But it is in the shade Berry Me in Lipsticks and it's berry like the fruit. It is also completely full. I've used Brucey more than I've used this one because I've had Brucey in a project before. Beautiful shade. Probably more fall and winter appropriate. I mean, I have a green lipstick, who cares? But if you're going by that sort of thing, it's definitely probably more of a fall or winter shade. I have several lipsticks ahead of that one to use up, so I probably won't be getting to it for a while, which is probably a mistake. But we're gonna try. Next is the first eyeshadow I have in here. And these are actually fairly easy to use up, as long as you do wear them. Because <laughs> I've used up one of these in particular before, and I've used up a different green shade called Jade. This is the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Mermaid, and it only has 1.24 grams of product in it. So this one is completely full. I have probably only used this once or twice because I used it up. I was kind of sick of it, but I knew I was going to want another one, so I went ahead and repurchased it, and I haven't really touched it much since. Like, I could see that I've used it because it's actually got, like, product moved around in it, but it hasn't really been used. I want to use that up, and I will warn you guys now, there is no metal pan at the bottom of this. So once I do hit pan, it's just going to be a black bottom. After using up two of them, I know. Next is the pigment I want to hit 20 uses on. I don't know how to say this brand. It is R Heart H. It is in the shade Sparkling Agave. So that is what the brand looks like. I should probably swatch these freaking eyeshadows for you. But that is the pigment. It's stunning. That is it right there. It's actually pretty close to Mermaid. Okay, Mermaid is a good bit lighter, so. See, that is Mermaid. That is Sparkling Agave. And of course, Sparkling Agave has a good bit more sparkle to it. Like I said, though, I only want to use the pigment 20 times. Now, I did weigh it. It's 7.9 grams, and especially if I wear this all over my eye, I suspect 20 uses would actually put a pretty major hurting on this. Don't quote me on that, though. We shall see. Now, the next two shades I want to use up for eyeshadows, the, the other two normal powder eyeshadows are actually in this. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I know this is super old, but I'm not getting rid of it until it starts growing legs or I use it up. That's just how it is now. The two shades I want to work on for this 
because these are notoriously hard to finish slash hit pan on, by the way. So I'm definitely setting myself up for failure, but we're gonna try. I want to finish Freak. As you can see, it is the shade that I have like solid pan on. Like I said, we'll see. And I want to hit pan on Fringe, which does have a good dip in it. I wear them together. As long as I wear them, it won't. It won't be a trial, I guess I should say. So, whew. We'll see how it, how it goes. <laughs> I do really like this palette. I do want to get even more. I've gotten a good bit of usage out of this, honestly. Like these are, I've also got Dense and Gonzo and Urban, the blue and purple shade right here. And I've used all of them many times. They barely show progress. I've got a bit of a dip in Thrash as well. Because I usually wear that on my inner corner when I wear the other two green shades. So, now, like I said, this is like a few years old, more than a few years old at this point. The pigmentation might not be quite as strong as it once was because this was a pigmented beast. They're, pig they're really more pigments than they are eyeshadows. If they're not quite as pigmented as they once were, I'll get through them faster. All right. And I do have a cream eyeshadow. Oh, wait, I should have swatched those, shouldn't I? All right, so that is Freak, and that is Fringe. Swatching them with my finger, they do still seem to be pretty damn pigmented. Like, I haven't fooled with this palette in a while, so I wasn't super sure. And what I will be wearing with this, at least, this is a Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow in the shade. I can't pronounce that. No, it's Gossip Green. I was reading something else. There it is right there. It has never been sharpened, but it's it needs it, honestly. Hopefully I can finish that. The other eyeshadow in Fifty Shades of Purple I keep close to finishing was my cream eyeshadow. Didn't quite finish it. Hopefully, because this one sharpens instead of twist up, I have a slightly more, you know, shot at using it up. And then I have this eyeliner. It's a CoverGirl's Full Spectrum Eyeliner in Electric Green. This is another thing that definitely has use on it, but not... I mean, I use this quite often. Like, anytime I wear a green eyeshadow, like a warmer green eyeshadow, I guess I should say, because I don't think this would really go with Mermaid at all, but... Anytime I wear something, you know, warm toned, I wear this with it. So it's gotten plenty of usage. And I got my concealer palette over here. It's just the B Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. It's the only green c c concealer that I have. And I want to finish it. Maybe one day I will. I really only want to finish two shades out of that. I don't even know if I really want to finish the orange one. The green one is fine though. And finally, I have a green highlighter. I only want to use it 20 times. This is Anastasia Moonshot palette and I want to use my shade Lucky Clover 20 times. As you can hopefully see, it does have pan in it. So I did take a picture of it just out of sheer curiosity of what it might look like after 20 uses. We'll see. And now for everything else. First, we have a perfume. If you watched my 50 shades, oh, not 50 shades, hashtag Team Project Pan last year, this behemoth will be familiar to you. This is the Ch Chance by Chanel perfume. It is not quite halfway done. Do you have a mark? Hopefully I can finish this up someday. I like it, but damn if it's strong. Like, it is a potent perfume. One spritz and I'm done. <laughs> Something that's a little bit more easy to burn through is this Simple Pleasures Citrus Mint Body Spray. This was a little trio of bath products that I got from Walgreens one Christmas. Well, actually, it's post-Christmas because I paid, like, two bucks for all three of them and they came in a bag. The other two I will show you in a minute. This has no mark on it because the progress, the product actually goes all the way to the top of the sprayer. Once I start using it though, it will get a mark. Screw it, I'll go ahead and show the other two. I also have the Scented Shower Gel, which is right here. 
And the body lotion, which is about right there. And this one was a little hard to get a mark on because some of it has like gotten stuck to the top of it. I have two Zany Laney body sprays because I still have a ton of those. One of them, to me you are perfect, is completely full. So it is starting off all the way up here. And this one is actually currently in use, so it is most of the way done. But it is called Oh There You Are, and it is for starting for the project right here. So that will be an empty by next time. I have a mini shampoo and conditioner. This, these are the Red Pure Advanced Extra Strength Tea Tree and Lemon Sage Refreshing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. The shampoo is right here, and the conditioner is a little bit higher. It's about right here. These are technically for my travel bag, but because they are green and they are getting on the older side, I figured they would be great to throw in here, get used up, and be done with. Next to something that I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use it is my other Pixie product in here. And like I said, I don't really quite understand what I'm supposed to do with this. It is the Pixie On The Glow Multi-Use Moisture Stick, and it says you can use it on your lips, on your face, on your body. Ugh. First I thought it was supposed to be like a cream highlighter, but it doesn't have any highlight to it. It is literally just a little moisture stick. That is everything in it. So I think this is probably something I'm going to use up on my body. It's because I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. And usually if I don't like a moisturizing product, I use it up on my body just to get rid of it. There is that. I have another little mini body wash. This is the Molten Brown London Infusing Eucalyptus Shower Gel. And it is another one. I did put a mark on it, but it is like above the cap. So once I get to this, it will certainly be easy to use up. I am working on a different body wash for a different project pan right now. So I'm not gonna touch that until I finish that one, which that one was in here, but then I started moving stuff around to put stuff in different projects. It was a green body wash. It's the one that's in my drop 10 by summer. Speaking of that project, I do have another product that goes with those. It is the Body and Earth Fresh Lime Spritz Body Butter. Although I will probably not use this while I'm using up those because while it is a very summer scent, it's sealed. You can't like see into it. It is a body butter, so. I can smell it through here though. It smells divine. I love lime scented stuff. Not enough lime scented stuff around, unfortunately. I also have the Body Shop's Peppermint Body Butter. Definitely won't be using this until the holidays, more than likely. I weighed it. It's on, a it's on my paper in here. But uh, this has never been used, but it does still smell great. I do love peppermint scented things too. And I have this itty bitty little guy. It is the Clean It Zero tri -peel Acid Cleansing Balm for pore clarifying. I have used it. I have actually hit the bottom of it. There's not a ton of product in here, but I put one, but obviously it's green and I figured it'd be a fairly easy product to use up. I speak as if I haven't been working on the same makeup remover for the past year and a half because it is a oil that never dies. I'm gonna have that for the rest of my freaking life. Next is another little mini that will be easy once I get to it. It is the Osha or Aussie, I don't know how to say this brand, Hyaluronic C Serum. I actually have two of these. I didn't put the other one in here, but I will probably use it up after I use up this one just to get a full idea of what I think of it. But teeny tiny little serum. I have the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And I actually still have the packaging it came in, including the, the cloth. Brand new. I had to remove the seal just to uh, get a measurement on it. I do like that, but I think I like the concept of the fact that you use a hot cloth with it, not necessarily, I, the cleanser itself is fine. I mentioned uh, facial sprays earlier. Here's the first one. It is the Shea Moisture Matcha Green Tea and Probiotic Soothing Toner and Hydrating Mist. And this one does say that it's a toner, but I tend to not like to use sprays as a toner. Like for some reason, 
I like that step to, to have like the cotton pad on my face and that associates it to me as a toner. This just feels like a facial spray, which is more of like, I'm hot, I need a refresher, let me spritz this on my face. So that is probably how I'm going to use this. Although I've used up one of these as a toner in the past. And when I say cotton pad, I mean my reusable ones. I don't actually use the ones you throw away. So it's not actually, it is a washable cotton. Here's another Aussie product. This is the Sea Minerals Mist. I used up one of these before. It's okay. It's not worth $38. And this one, as you can see, is completely full. So I'm not gonna mark that until I start working on it. Toner, these are toner, weird, I know. It is the AOA, AHA, BHA, PHA toning solution. I did throw both of these in here because they are very small. Now these toners only have 25 milliliters of product in them. And then when you actually like move the air out, they're only about half full, so. Once I get to them, should be no problem to go through. I am working on different toners right now. And I have the matching moisturizer with it. It is the Niacinamide 2% and BHA moisturizer. It also only has 20 milliliters of product in it, and it is also like half full. Now these foil type things, they reseal. So I don't want to open it yet, but they reseal. So they're very easy to use, very easy to store. I have my current vitamin C type serum. I actually don't particularly care for this because I don't like the cream aspect of it. I like my serums to be more liquidy, but I bought it. I'll use it up. It's the Garnier Green Labs Brightening Serum Cream in Panea C with vitamin C and pineapple. And we are starting for the project right here. So it's already in use. Shouldn't take me more than a few months to use up. I also have the 4th Ray Beauty Avocado and Aloe Serum. This is one I have to shake up. It's completely full. I think I might have used it once. Bought this in a kit for Christmas. Not last year, but the year before. And I have these products, which I say they're green. It, it's definitely a bit of an argument. This is the Veli Veli Ar Artemisia Balance Essence. The Artemisia Return Ampule, which is starting right here. Like I've only used them a little bit to test for a review. And the Artesia Return Cream, which still, I've used it, but I keep these when I'm not, when they're not like, you know, I'm working to use them up. They smell nice. They're not my favorite, but they're pretty good. So I weighed this. But it currently has, it has 50 milliliters of product in it, so. So I have this little weirdo. It is the Milk Makeup Matcha Toner. I know. I think it's one thing to have a sprayer toner. This thing is solid. This is weird. Why did I buy this? It's probably a good thing I don't subscribe to BoxyCharm anymore because their drop, bo their drop box sales or whatever they're called got me every time. I will figure out how to use this and if I like it or not. I also have Tatcha's The Water Cream, something I really like, but Tatcha is way too expensive for what it is. However, I always enjoy these little minis when I get them. I'll probably actually work on using that up soon just because I want to enjoy it. And finally, I feel like I've been here all my life. I have the Yes To Watermelon Super Fresh Jelly Mask. It says it has over 11 uses. Who knows how many uses that will actually be. I haven't used it yet. We are starting right there. I bought this from Ulta when I went there for my birthday, like pick up my birthday gift. Oh, it's still sealed, so I can't even smell it. And it was on sale, and I do enjoy a sleeping mask every once in a while. And I love everything watermelon scented. And it does smell like watermelon. I had to check. I'd have been very mad if it didn't. So it's literally like 90% of why I bought it. So I figured, you know what, I'm here for my birthday. Why not get a little indulgence like this? So that is it. I feel like, like I said, I feel like I've been here all my life. I'm very tired. I'm probably going to be late uploading my Fifty Shades of Purple uh, Project Pan finale just because 
I was going to upload it tonight and then put this up on the 15th. I ain't got no damn energy to edit that. I will still put this up on the 15th and put that up on the 16th. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.